Hello everyone. In this session, we will introduce the Pleat of Atelier 7.0 software. The Pleat function is located in the top toolbar. First, select to insert the outline starting point. Then, select to insert the outline ending point. Lastly, select the side where you want to insert the pleat. The types of pleats include knife pleats, inner box pleats, and outer box pleats. Here is a demonstration of the three types of pleats applied to a pattern in 2D and 3D views. Let's simulate it in the 3D window to see the effect. In Add Pleat, you can also adjust the number of pleats. You can adjust the interval of the pleats collectively or individually. The width of the pleats can also be adjusted using the same method. After selecting Fold Reverse, the direction of the box pleat can be reversed, but there is no distinction between forward and reverse directions for box pleats themselves. On the right side are the pleats with Fold Reverse selected while the pleats on the left side do not have Fold Reverse selected. We can observe the pleats with the opposite fold direction in the 3D view. In Initial 3D Position, you can choose to orient the pleats towards the front or back. After selecting Back, the pleat structure will move towards the inside of the pattern. Left side shows the front-facing pleats, while the right side shows the back-facing pleats. Let's simulate it. Fold angle is the angle of the internal line of the pleat. There are a total of five angles to choose from. Let's apply each of these five angles to the pleats. In the 2D window, it's difficult to distinguish the differences between these five types of pleats. In the 3D window, you can clearly see the differences between them. Select Pattern and check Strengthen. After enabling Strengthen, the pattern can better showcase the pleats. In sewing, there are five stitching options to choose from, none, all, both, start, and end. Next, let's examine the differences between these five pleat types in the Edit Sewing section. Use the Edit Sewing option from the top toolbar. The pleat with none selected only has basic sewing applied. The pleat with all selected has complete sewing applied to both internal lines. 
The pleat with both selected has sewing applied to both the top and bottom ends. The pleat with start selected has sewing applied only at the top end. The pleat with end selected has sewing applied only at the bottom end. Let's observe these pleats in the 3D window. Let's simulate to observe the sewing effects. Finally, use the realistic fold feature. After checking it, the internal lines will automatically undergo realistic fold. On the left side are the pleats that have not been realistic fold. On the right side are the pleats that have undergone realistic fold. In the 2D pop-up buttons, click on Fabric, then choose Display 2D Mesh. You can see that the mesh of pattern is built by triangle. In the pattern where realistic fold has been applied, the mesh of the internal lines has undergone special stitching. After simulation, it was found that ordinary pleat have slight serrations. When realistic fold is selected, it has smoother edges. Choose Display 2D Mesh in Fabric of 3D Window. The above constitutes all the content of the pleats introduction for version 7.0. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.